Hey everyone, this is Rachel and I'm here, not with a process video, but with a layout share. But before I get to that, I just want to explain why I'm doing a layout share. If you have saw a previous video of mine, I think it was two videos ago, I shared myself packing for a crop. So these are the layouts I did at the crop. And then I'm also sharing the free gift that the crop organizers gave us. It was the collection pack of Dear Santa from Photo Play Paper. Now, before I get into the layouts I made, I just wanted to talk about going to a crop. And I know some people say, oh, I don't wanna do that and stuff like that. And whether or not that is completely up to you, obviously we all choose to do our own thing and it's great. I will tell you though, if you have the opportunity to go to a crop and you think it might be something you like, and even if you're a little trepidatious of going, I say go. Um, I've actually gone to crops completely by myself, and this particular time there were 12 other ladies who were meeting me there uh, from a message board. Some of them I'd met before, some of them I had not met before, and we all had a wonderful time. It is so much fun to talk to people who are willing to chat about whether or not you like striped paper and whether it's better if it's diagonal or horizontal or vertical for 30 minutes and no one thinks you're weird <laughs> because you all obsess about the same type of things. You're all the same kind of weird. So I had a fabulous time. I actually did get quite a few layouts done. I got, I believe 22. I think that was my final number, one of which was a double page layout. And so I just wanted to say, if you're thinking about going, you absolutely should. All right, let's talk about what I actually got done. As I said, I managed to do 22 layouts, one of which was a double page. And if you watch my packing video, and I will put a link to that video uh, in the description box below, just in case you wanna go back and see it. I talked about how, you know, I make a kind of a, generalized schedule of what I could possibly get done. Um, you know, so if, if I know it takes me about an hour to do a layout and I know there are so many hours at the crop, I know I can't, don't bother packing a hundred layouts to do when I know there's not even a chance I'll get close to that. I had said I could probably get 25 done and I actually did 22, which is I think a record for me for a crop, you know, so yay me. Um, but I actually brought, I believe, 32 layouts to scrap, so that way I'd have some choices. And I'm definitely glad I did that. All right, so when I got this collection pack, I decided, uh, in, in when I, so I'll explain to you what I did. There were four layouts I had to finish by that I knew I wanted to do first, simply because they were due as part of a challenge I was doing. So I did those four first. After that, I decided, you know what? Rather than working from one kit until I kill it, and then working from another kit until I kill it, I'm just gonna grab random what I feel like doing. So that's what I did. So these are grouped by what kit they came from. I did not, however, do them in the order you're going to see them. So that way I didn't get bored. And in one case, which I will explain, I did change my mind a couple of times. There are two layouts I did with this Dear Santa line that I had actually pulled from the holiday click kit that I had to work with just because I thought the photos went better with this particular line. Plus I really wanted to play with it. <laughs> So you will see some stuff from my Click Kit Holiday Kit on the layouts I did with this because this collection kit came with the papers, some element stickers, and some alpha stickers, but that's what came in the collection kit. All right, without further ado, now that I've yapped at you for quite a while, I am going to go on to my layouts. All right, so here is my first layout. So this is my dog, Sadie. And so I was super excited to see this because these are Santa photos. And let me explain, I did not take my dog to see Santa. I took my dog to be groomed. And when we were leaving, they were just setting up for Santa. And I said, well, since I'm here, 
because I have a 17 year old nephew. I don't get Santa pictures much anymore. So she was perfectly happy to sit in Santa's lap and have her picture taken. Although she was like, kind of like, where are you going? Because she was concerned that I was going to leave her in San with Santa and go. So this is the 12 by 12 with the Santa. And then I have this layering piece behind the photos with the three by four cut apart that also came. And then this is another piece of pattern paper where my journaling and my title went. So from my click kit, I pulled this star with the gold tassel -y thing and I loved those. I thought those were so cute. And those, I believe someone told me they came from Fa La La by Crate Paper. And then these enamel dots, these are actually from a freckled fawn kit I bought. And I wanna say it's from last year. So everything else though came in the photo play paper kit. Now, fun story about the next layout I'm gonna show you. My friend Sue saw this layout and she's like, that is so cute, would you mind if I scrap lifted you? Except my two four by sixes are horizontal. And I said, no, of course not, I think that would be super awesome. So she scrap lifted me and of course she made some changes. And then I saw her layout and I was like, I like that so much, I'm going to scrap lift you back with this next one. So in her layout, she had added like a subtitle down below the photos and some stickers up in the corner. And I'm like, I think that, that is super cute. So I am going to scrap lift that. I did add a title up here using an acrylic and a couple of flare, but other than that, it's pretty much, oh, and I covered up, this is their family name. This is my uh, best friend's family's holiday get together thing. And this is their family name. So I just covered that up. I'll take it off once it's off the camera. So this also uses the, as I said, the photo play paper. And then this is one piece of paper. And then obviously the polka dot is the 12 by 12. And then the only thing I added, as I said, was the acrylic piece from Color Cast Designs. And then the two flare. This is from Felicity Jane. And I think this is from Freckled Fawn, but a couple of years ago. So there is that. And in case you're wondering, they were doing a recreation of the Lion King circle of life. Cause you know, who doesn't do that when you have a baby in the photo? All right. Now, if you watched my packing video, you know, I had said that I had packed some extra paper just in case I just did not want to work with one of my kits. And then I said, I would just pull stuff from just the, random embellishments I brought. Well, I did end up doing that with these photos. I actually had them in another kit, but by the time I was working with that kit and I got to do these photos, I was like, I really don't like any of the papers for them. And I remembered I had a couple of pieces of paper from the Welcome Home line, which is the, it's by Cartabella and it's very, fixer upper theme. So it's a lot of the stickers are all shiplap rules and uh, remodel your home and farmhouse chic and stuff like that. So very sorry, my dog decided to go insane. Um, so I just used a bunch of these wood veneer arrows. Some of them are from Freckled Fawn, the longer ones, and then the shorter ones are from Studio Calico. And then the alphas are from American Crafts and Ellie Studio. And I think these are just some generic enamel dots. And then a flare and a sticker. So I kept it very simple, but I just thought this was just soft. And these are photos, my nephew got a new iPhone with the new, um, the self portrait where you can blur out the background. So he was playing around with it. So I just thought, it, this fit perfectly. And I was so glad I brought those extra papers that I just didn't really have any specific reason for, but just in case. Okay. Next up, we have all the layouts I made using my holiday click kit. First up is this one. This paper is by Pink Fresh Studio. It is from their line from this year. The stickers are from Sweater Weather. 
And now my cats decide to go insane. It's a lovely, lovely day. And then these vellum stars are from Seven Paper, which was a line of embellishments and papers that Studio Calico had a couple of years ago. And then the only thing I added that didn't come in the kit are these gold alphas, which are Pink Fresh Studio. They just didn't come in my kit. And then some of the enamel dots. The blue and the pink came with the kit. The white are from Pink Fresh Studio, but they came from my stash. The rest of the stickers and everything either came from Pink Fresh Studio or Sweater Weather. Okay, this is also from the Click Kit Holiday Kit. The only thing from my stash is the doily and these alphas. So my cat, of course, climbing in a gift box Christmas morning. And I just wanted to chat about it because she actually does not sit in boxes very often. So I know it's very uncat-like of her. She prefers eating the boxes. <laughs> but uh, what I did was I used all the floral pieces that came in the kit, both stickers and die cuts. I don't tend to use a lot of florals, so I thought this would work perfectly. These are from... These are the Fitzgerald American Craft stickers, and then the blue ones are from Pink Fresh Studios, the Indigo Hills line. If I don't say where something is from and you are interested in knowing that, please just let me know and I will uh, in the comments and I will answer your question no problem. Next up also from the Holiday Click Kit, we have this one about going out to breakfast Christmas Day. There is a giant storm and it just worked out that way. So I have a longer story. So I put it on one of the tags that came in the kit. The only thing not from this kit are these two puffy stickers that are coffee cups. My friend Marianne, who came to the crop, she actually brought those as a gift. So I popped them on there because we had coffee with breakfast. So it worked out in my thoughts and then the only other thing is this alpha once again that is from pink fresh studio it is not however from the kit oh you know what i am lying this ampersand this also um did not come in the kit and for some reason this end part is not sticking down i was talking about my love of ampersands and my friend sue said hey here you can have this one because she wasn't going to use it. So I just plopped it right down in the layout I was working on. And look folks, I actually used twine. This came in the kit. I'm not a big twine and ribbon user, but I thought, you know what? I have it in the kit, I might as well use it. I'm not one of those people who requires twine to be in their tags. I know some people think that's absolute sacrilege. It's just not something that bothers me. I actually used it twice because I used it Because there were three different types of twine. There was the red, green, and white. There was this rose gold and white. And then there was a natural twine as well. So I used two pieces of twine. I was super proud of myself. All right, now for those of you who watched my packing video, you'll know that I packed all of my Felicity Jane. And I've mentioned many, many times before, I do not subscribe to Felicity Jane. I follow her on Instagram or her company on Instagram and then when she says she's having a sale I go over and I buy the paper packs and maybe the oh no not maybe and I buy all of her paper packs and all of her flair because I like it because it's slightly smaller and then occasionally I'll buy one embellishment with the line like for this particular one this is Zoe mainly it's Zoe and I bought the die cuts that go along with it. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So this is a mix of Felicity Jane, and then I have these Bella Boulevard hearts, some simple stories, glitter enamel dots, and then just some random wood veneer stars. And a black doily, and that's from Doodlebug Design. Now, one thing I was super stoked about is this these uh, little heart enamel dots, they actually completed the multicolor pack of enamel hearts, enamel dots, enamel hearts from Bella Boulevard. I have about 
six or seven packages of them, one of which was the multicolor one, which I actually bought first when they first came out, and I finally used them all up, so yay! Next up, also using the Felicity Jane kit, is this one. Now, this sugar, I don't know if this all, if I believe this all came from the same line, I just don't know which line it is. I went for a bolder look in this particular one, this particular photo is a three by four. It's just used at, the layout is not about what's in the photo. The photo is just a selfie that my housemate and my nephew took. It happens to be about teenagerisms and the you do you and the fact that my nephew says it quite a bit. So I used a mix of the Felicity Jane and then the Colorcast Designs acrylics. So all of these acrylics come from Colorcast Designs and then everything else comes from Felicity Jane except this one sticker which comes from Webster's Pages. So I went super bold with my pattern paper but I just felt because it's such a simple photo even though it's smaller it could stand up because of the large black background that it could stand up to the boldness of the pattern paper. Next up we have one that's partially Felicity Jane and partially not. So when I saw this paper at Paper Issues, it's actually from Echo Park Fashionista. It's the only piece of paper I bought from Fashionista and I didn't buy anything else just because I don't have a lot to scrapbook about involving th that theme, but I just thought this particular paper was gorgeous. So I had decided to use it for this particular layout. It's about my housemate's uh, work Christmas party and she works for a high-end salon. So they like to get dressed up and put on their makeup and go out and party, but the night of their party, it was going to snow like four or five inches. So my, the whole thing about the story is they're all dressed up and wearing nice clothing and then they're all wearing winter boots, except one girl. So I've got this all in my journaling. Uh, one girl decided she was going to wear her fancy shoes and then she ended up having to get a piggyback ride back to her car. So I'm just writing that little story. So the background piece is from Echo Park Fashionista. All of the Smaller pieces of pattern paper are from the Kate line in Felicity Jane. And then these are the Gold Fitzgerald Alphas and then the black Ellie Studio. And then the enamel dots are from Pink Fresh Studio. The enamel hearts are from Felicity Jane. And the chipboard uh, stickers are from Mombi. And those are the ones that come in the waterfall packs and they are available at Michael's. Okay, and that is my last one using Felicity Jane. Next up, I brought my Ellie Studio Family Fun collection. I didn't have a ton left, and I actually don't have much left at all of this line. I think I maybe have like a quarter piece of paper and then a couple acrylic pieces. I'm going to I'm done with this line. I'm going to break up everything and just put it into my um, embellishments by type rather than keep it together as a collection. So I did use texture paste on this. This is a Shimmers product pasties in yellow, it's me. And I used an Echo Park six by six stencil to put it through and then I did some misting over it. So to bring that red and the yellow from my photo out into my layout. Because the papers, I only had blue and gray left. I didn't have any red or yellow. Now, excuse the washi tape, that is my nephew's school name and I just didn't wanna put it on YouTube. Okay, so other than that, I have some enamel dots and those are from Simple Stories. And then these black and white cameras from Freckled Fawn. And then the Alpha is American Crafts and I want to say it's called Together. I think it came out with a Maggie Holmes line, but I'm not 100% sure on that. The acrylic pieces come from Ellie Studio, not Color Cast Designs, as does this label. So, 
making sure and mentioning everything. The story about this is my nephew's school said they could dress up as long as it didn't interfere with their schooling. So my nephew decided to go as Clark Kent and uh, wore the Superman t-shirt under a sheerish white shirt. So, uh, but the whole point was that his glasses, he has those trendy glasses that look super nerdy and uh, remind him of Clark Kent. Okay, next up in the family fun line is his junior year school photo. So for the main part, it is Ellie's studio from the puffy stickers to the acrylic pieces. Um, the only thing not is this hello, which came from an older pink paisley line. It actually, once I used this, I got to throw away the package. I was super happy. There were only like two hashtags left on it. And I'm like, for two hashtags, I'm not going to keep this. I have enough hashtags throughout my stash that I don't need to keep these. Um, other than that, these are American Craft stickers. These actually are both B's that I <laughs> MacGyvered into R's because I did not have any R's left, but I, I wanted to use this line for this those words. I don't think they're too, too no, I mean, you have to like take a second look in order to realize that those are not R's. And then the only other thing is these numeral stickers and then this sticker are both from Webster's Pages. And those I bought at Joann's uh, as part of Webster's Pagers has their planner kits. And so I bought those. They come as a mix of alpha t uh, mini alpha tile stickers and then um, just little word stickers. And this paper comes like this. It, I didn't like put it in half. And then my last layout with Ellie's Studio Family Fun is this one. So this piece of wood grain paper with the green is actually one paper. I just left the branding strip on. I did use the Ellie Studio Title Builder stamp set and acrylic piece. And then the black and white sticker, camera stickers are from Freckled Fawn. Other than that, everything came from Ellie's studio, either part of the family fun line or just other embellishments from them. Now, here's a funny story. The background here with all of the misting, actually, I actually did this uh, a while before I actually made the layout. Uh, one of the people I was there with asked me to show them how I missed. So I was just giving a demonstration on different techniques I use to mist on my paper. And after looking at it for a while, I'm like, you know, I'm not going to waste this. I'm going to find a layout to do with this. And it worked for this one. So I was super happy to go ahead and use it rather than waste a white piece of cardstock. All right, so that is the last layout I did with Ellie Studio. Next up is the first one from the Moonlight Collection by Pink Paisley. This is the double page layout I did. And my nephew normally does backstage stuff uh, in, when it comes to theater, but this particular time he was on the stage as a uh, pretty decently sized role. So he's actually a, a very good actor. He just prefers to work backstage. So these are photos that they took, some taken by one of the parents, some taken by themselves. This all uses the Moonlight Collection uh, from the thickers to the cork pieces to the rub-ons. It's all from Pink Paisley. So I even used my Stampin' Up scallop border punch. So yay me. <laughs> oh, this is another one where you can see the school name, so I just covered it up. Next, also using the Moonlight Collection, I'm talking about what happened this year, New Year's Eve. My nephew's friend that we always, we're their family friends and we always go to their house for New Year's Eve. It's a very, very like low, key, low key get together. And this time around, uh, my nephew's friend had gotten a snake this year. 
so the snake crawled inside my housemate's sweater and so I just took some photos and did New Year's Eve ha 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 once again everything is from the Moonlight collection including this vellum piece and this is a die cut that I popped up on dimensionals and okay the only thing not from it are these little tiny tile stickers saying the year everything else comes from the Moonlight collection And that's the last one from the Moonlight Collection. Next, we're moving on to my Wild Hair Kit. Now, my Wild Hair Kit is also, also has some stuff from my stash, and I honestly don't remember what's from my stash and what is from the kit, but I had ordered the deluxe kit, so it was pretty full. So this first one is actually a sketch from Scrapbook Generation, and it uses a lot of Dear Lizzie Stargazer Amy Tan Hustle and Heart and then these cork pieces are from One Canoe Two I believe their first line which was called Hazelwood and then I also added this die cut and that is from Pink Fresh Studios Explore the Extraordinary or something like that okay next also using uh, Stargazer and Amy Tangerine and then I added these chipboard pieces these are from my stash I remember that they're from Amy Tangerine on the whim and the the white alpha word is from freckled fawn this one came in my kit uh, and I used a lot of shimmers products in a circle these are vibes and spritz we have a spritz called Plum Pudding. This is one of their newest releases. It's a vibes called Rose Gold, Red Rose Gold, something like that. And then, oh, you know what? Actually, this is a colorings called Pink Stilettos. So I did the packaging technique and then I misted over it. And when you mist, even if it's in the same color, quite often it ends up being slightly darker just because of the concentration. So I did that in a circle and then I also, I kind of just did a circle of different pieces of scraps I had left over from my pattern papers. And then it's just a mix of Amy Tangerine hearts and Bella Boulevard hearts. And those were both from my stash. Next up, we have another Create sketch, also using my Wild Hair Kit. Once again, a lot of Dear Lizzie Stargazer paper and the Hustle and Heart. Most of my kit had Dear Lizzie paper. It is actually what I requested, um, and she was lovely in giving me both 6x6 six six paper pads and the full-size sheets for my kit. I have a couple of things that I pulled from my stash and then most of this came from the kit though and as i said it came it is a sketch from scrapbook generation i am so sorry if you are still watching this video you are a rock star because this video is ridiculously long and i'm going oh my gosh this video is super long but i did get quite a few layouts done and i don't want to do two videos about it so if you're getting through we're almost done. We're nearing the end, I promise. All right. This is from Pink Fresh Studio. Explore the Extraordinary, something along the, those lines. It's from one of their winter releases. It also came in my Wild Hair Kits. Um, this is a mix of One Canoe Two and Amy Tangerine on a Whim. It's about seeing the movie It. I am not in this photo because I do not watch horror movies. Um, <laughs> but... This is also a sketch from Scrapbook Generation. It is a very loose take on the sketch. Um, in the original sketch, it had lots of banners that you're supposed to cut out. Whenever there are sketches that have lots of banners, my tendency is to look for a paper that has lots of stripes. So that was my idea in using this particular paper. When I saw this paper, when they first had their sneaks and stuff that they were doing this release, I fell in love with this paper as I know did many many people 
and so I knew I would want to use it as a full background sheet so I was happy to do so in this case. All right and here is my last layout using my wild hair kit for this crop. There are, I still have some papers and elements of the wild hair kit left to work with so it is not killed but this was my favorite paper in the entire kit. It's actually probably my very favorite paper in a long time and so I used it as a background piece rather than cutting it up and I used it on a picture of Xanthi. <laughs> so besides the neutral tones of the woods, I kept everything very tonal with the teals and aquas and uh, enamel dots and enamel hearts and some stickers. And I'm, I was very conscious of not choosing any stickers that had pink in it. And then I also used some mist in Jenny B Blue by Shimmers just to keep the same neutral and aqua colors going so and it's funny this photo like she looks so I was saying she looks I'll just I'll read my journaling it says she looks so peaceful pondering the universe's mysteries when in reality she's staring at a bug that she will then kill and consume because that's actually what happened um, so my whole point was to create this ambiance of peaceful and sereneness when in reality you know you laugh when you read the journaling so that was my last one with the Wild Hair Kit Club kit that I had. And now I'm moving on to my last two layouts. And these were both done with the November Click Kit, which was my last Click Kit minus my holiday kit. So this is a lot of Bella Boulevard. The die cuts are from Pebbles Girl Squad. The alphas are from one canoe two hazelwood or creekside i don't remember which and then the cork hearts are actually from pretty little studio they did not come in my kit they were a purchase i made from the click kit store to go along with my kit so these are photos that my best friend took trying to take selfies with a baby and i'm just my whole title is baby selfies are hard so finally she had to have someone take a picture of her and the baby okay and then my last layout which actually is the last layout I did at the crop uh, is one of the ferret Simba uh, for those of you who don't know we had ferrets for many many years uh, Nala passed away last year well they both passed away last year at this point because it's 2018. Uh, Nala passed away in the fall of 2016 and then Simba passed away in the summer of 2017. They were both very elderly. Um, we'd had them for a lifespan of a normal ferret is around seven to eight years. They lived to be nine and ten respectively. So they had full long lives and uh, I have scrapbooked almost everything about them already. I did have this particular one left. This is him. He had crawled into my winter boot and for those of you who don't know, uh, jokingly, ferrets are sometimes called cat snakes. Uh, if you kind of look at them, they're covered in fur and, you know, they're bendy like cats. And, uh, but they are, you know, long tubular animals. So they look kind of like a fur covered snake. So people jokingly call them cat snakes. So playing off the line from Toy Story, there's a snake in my boot. I, uh, when I took this photo and put it up on Instagram, what I titled it was, there's a cat snake in my boot. So I just wanted to make sure to tell that story and I did a very centralized layout. And then these banners, uh, uh, one of the sheets in the kit were a bunch of banners. So I just cut them apart. And then this is the B side, or this is the A side of the banner page. So I just did a bunch of banners and then a bunch of alphabets. And then what I did was I used black Bella Boulevard hearts down here and then colored ones up here just to kind of spread the colors out everywhere. All right, folks, that was a lot of talking for me. If you have made it this far, you totally rock. And thank you for sticking out the whole way. 
if you have any questions whatsoever please just leave them in the uh, leave a comment and I will get back to you I will have new process videos up soon I am still in the process of getting a new photo editing not photo editing video editing system so I'm still working on that so if my videos aren't scheduled awesomely I apologize they will get back to normal all right folks don't forget if you have a chance to go to a crop you should totally do it I highly recommend it see you guys soon goodbye if you could flip me a thumbs up that would be super awesome bye